Are there any versions of Jane who don't die? Welcome back, Nerd Squad. Today we're going to be counting down the top 10 most powerful alternate versions of Jean Grey, many of whom, despite their raw and awesome power, still end up perishing in one way or another. But I mean, this is Jean Grey we're talking about, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Let's find out more and get counting. Number 10, Zombie Dark Phoenix. This version of Jean does have some perks when it comes to power set, but ultimately her downfall is, well, being stuck in the Marvel Zombies universe, where many zombies get taken out by fellow zombie hero Hulk. Here, however, Jean is supposed to possess the Phoenix Force still, which in theory I think should have allowed her to resurrect herself, but maybe that works differently when you get completely punched to smithereens by the Hulk. But I mean literally, she gets punched through the torso and then the Hulk crushes her head with his fist in Marvel Zombies 2 issue 5. It's quite gratuitous because, well, Marvel Zombies. Still, however, in theory, the zombified version of Jean should have been considered one of the most powerful. And overall, for the zombie heroes, even being defeated by the Hulk, she was considered one of the most powerful, running with the zombie Galacti, aka Power Cosmic Zombies, on Earth 2149 or Earth Z prior to her death. Number 9, Ultimate Jean Grey. Ultimate Jean Grey ended up becoming the leader of Tian, which I think gives her a power boost, but on the other hand, she was not made as powerful as her 616 counterpart when it comes to her abilities, so for that, she gets moved down a peg. While telekinesis was initially Jean's main power set on Earth 616, here in the Ultimate Universe, Jean seemed to primarily be more of a telepath, who also has telekinetic abilities. Jean as a telepath can psychically cloak herself or others, but not against stronger telepaths. She can heal trauma or give you trauma by altering your memories. She can give others amnesia too and use her telepathy to create vivid and realistic illusions. And friends, before we move on to this next spot, if you are loving this list, if you want more lists about Jean Grey or just more mutant lists in general, because I love doing those, be sure to let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and maybe share it. Maybe give it to a friend you think, you know, needs a little, a little Jean Grey in their day. Number eight, Jean Grey Earth 18119. Earth 18119 is the reality of Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. It was destroyed and then incorporated into Doctor Doom's Battle World and after the destruction of Battle World was then completely recreated and incorporated into the multiverse by Mr. Fantastic. On this Earth, Jean's power levels are comparable to her main continuity counterpart, but she also has the added strength of being a mother, which probably makes her both a more determined hero and teacher in this reality. On Earth 18119, Jean ended up breaking up with Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, after he lost faith in Professor X's vision, and instead ended up dating and later marrying Wolverine. Together they have a daughter named Kate, whose codename is Shine, and she's super cute. Number 7, Madeline Pryor. A lot of people think of Maddie as being a weaker version of Jean because she's a clone, but I would argue Maddie is either on the same level of Jean or at least has the potential to be at Jean's level or even more powerful. Why? Well, Madeline Pryor might be a clone, but Mr. Sinister also made her using a part of the Phoenix Force, which means that Madeline Pryor is kind of both Jean and the Phoenix Force all in one. She has like built-in Phoenix, which you'd think would make her connection just a touch stronger. Madeline, also known as the Goblin Queen, is also well-versed in magic, something Jean hasn't really dipped into herself. I'm not saying she's more powerful than Jean Grey every day of the week. I'm just saying the potential for her to be more powerful here and there definitely exists, at least in my opinion. Number six, Black Queen. This alternate version of Jean Grey comes to us from Earth 39529, which we get to peer into through 1989's What If series in issue 59. This What If asks the question, what if Wolverine led Alpha Flight? The answer? Well, the fate of Jean Grey would end up really, really dark. Wolverine becomes the leader of the Alpha Flight team due to the fact that the X-Men were unable to rescue him as their rescue team was killed by the Canadian military. Alpha Flight are the ones sent to rescue Jean after she ends up brainwashed by the Hellfire Club and joins them. Unfortunately, upon arrival, Wolverine learns it is too late as this version of Jean has already gone full dark. Phoenix. Logan has no other choice in this reality but to kill her in order to protect everyone else, basically on planet Earth. I don't know about you, but a completely evil Jean Grey who has gone full dark Phoenix seems pretty powerful to me. I think Logan got lucky by even being able to kill her. Number 5, Jean Grey Earth 7642. This alternate version of Jean comes to us from a Marvel and DC crossover universe assigned the number Earth 7642. In fact, after her initial appearance, Jean from this universe would also appear in stories pertaining to her past in a crossover with the Wildcat. 
Cats, who were over at Image at the time. So just all the crossovers, really. In this reality, Jean does become the Dark Phoenix, wipes out a star, and then takes her own life, much like in the main continuity version of the story. But instead of that not being the real Jean and learning that she was actually alive but hidden underwater, in this universe, Jean is resurrected by Darkseid, who intends to use her in his pursuit of the anti-life equation. The Teen Titans and the X-Men team up to defeat Darkseid and Jean, who then recovers her memory of her life before she was Dark Phoenix and turns on Darkseid, once more sacrificing herself to save everyone else. Ain't that just the way? Number 4. Apocalypse In Age of Apocalypse in the reality of Earth 295, Jean ends up eventually taking on the mantle of Apocalypse. While she perished in this reality shortly after that happened, it's basically because she sacrificed herself in order to protect other people. As I said, that always happens. Jean Grey was so powerful as Apocalypse that she even managed to hold on to her own personality, but she could feel that influence of her new role working to change her, as she expressed that she did feel intensely arrogant, which might also be why she was cool going out the way that she did in the end. Cause you know, I feel like Jean wouldn't want to be fully taken over by that, that force. Number 3. God Level Phoenix This version of Jean comes to us from one of the short stories featured in X-Men Millennial Visions 2000. In the story by the maker, we learn that Jean is one of the few to survive both Deathbird and Magneto's attack. Unable to stand against them as they are, the X-Men turn to a device Forge created to evolve them further, giving them basically godlike abilities. Or raising their abilities to become godlike, perhaps I should say. Jean, as her power-up, gains full and complete control over the Phoenix, making her more powerful than ever before. Definitely not a hero you'd want to go up against. Though I honestly wouldn't want to go up against Rogue either in this reality, who you just need to be within a mile of to have your powers and life energy drained. Which sounds pretty scary. At least if she has any skin exposed. Number 2. Zorn While she might not have gone dark or taken the powers of Apocalypse, Jean as Zorn from the alternate reality of Earth 13729 is just all around one of the most powerful genes in the multiverse, in my humble opinion. Her powers are like her main counterpart but improved, making her one of the strongest all around alternates out there. Of course, even then, like most alternate versions of Jean and even main Jean, Zorn still perished in the end. In X Men Battle of the Atom issue number two, we learn that Jean's powers are so great that not even she can apparently handle them. And during the all out brawl with all the other X Men and alternate X Men, she overloads and ends up exploding, creating a massive explosion all around her and leaving nothing left of her own corpse except for her Zorn mask. Number one, Phoenix slash Dark Phoenix. I really want to make Zorn my number one most powerful alternate gene, but then I remembered that technically both Phoenix and the Dark Phoenix personas we saw in the comics were not really Gene in the main continuity. Which would make Phoenix an alternate as well, albeit a one who we thought at the time was the main Gene and who existed in the main continuity still, living in effect as Gene. Dark Phoenix was powerful enough to destroy a whole planet and the whole Dabari race, which I believe amounted to I think billions of lives lost. Later after sacrificing herself to save every Everyone from her own darkness, it was revealed that Dark Phoenix wasn't really Jean, but in fact a Jean duplicate created by the Phoenix Force, which used Jean's body and mind as blueprints to create a more powerful version of her while she rested safely beneath Jamaica Bay. So Phoenix and Dark Phoenix both are Jean, but at the same time aren't, which would classify Phoenix as an alternate version technically, and definitely one of the most powerful alternates out there as such. In fact, the creation of that retcon is pretty cool because apparently that retcon had to be created because they wanted to, if they were gonna bring Jean back, make her not guilty for any of the bad stuff she did to Dark Phoenix. So they basically had to make it so that that Jean wasn't the real Jean, which is pretty, uh, pretty wild. What are some of your favorite Jean alternates? Which Jean Grey do you think is the most powerful? What other X-Men alternate futures or pasts do you love to explore? Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I am your host Amanda McKnight, reminding you till next time to stay nerdy YouTube.